All eyes on Gabriel Jesus. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. Hello everyone, it's an ideal day for football here in London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Tottenham Hotspur versus Southampton. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. Number nine, Gabriel Jesus. And number seven, Song. And the starting 11 for Spurs. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bukayo Saka. And a throw in here for Southampton. Aribo. He continues his run. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, Spurs really want to win this game after being held to a draw in their last match against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Yes, it was an entertaining game and a decent result away from home. Today, though, if they dominate the midfield area, as they should do, I think they'll win this game. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Wonderfully weighted pass. And he might be in here. It's still alive. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Saka. Well, confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions. I say that, but today is the day when they'll receive that much coveted piece of silverware. And then, Stuart, the party can really start in earnest. Yes, it will, but they'll still want to put in a good performance today just to put the icing on the cake. It's been a great season for them, and they fully deserve their title. Oh, win. Stuart, an opportunity! And off target in the end, and that'll be a goal kick. Well, possibilities in the centre. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card.
Well, shielding the ball admirably. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, Derek, I expect him to score again today because he's got four goals in the last three games. He's looked outstanding when he's been running in behind. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Let's see about the delivery. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Saka. And showing fine vision. A routine save. Good work from Southampton to win it back. Happy birthday to Nathan Walker, celebrating his birthday today. Levi Garcia. Oh, fancy footwork. And players waiting in the centre. Clean challenge. good challenge and he skips past his man and that's sound goalkeeping <laughs> and over it comes it might still be problematic. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take oh. on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, he keeps going. Romain Perrault. A chance to whip it in. Keeping the ball moving. An alert piece of defending. And getting close to the half-time interval with Spurs holding the advantage. Stuart, interested to know what strikes you about their performance. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at half-time. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Making sure nothing came of it. Well, not hard to read that pass. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, had that gone in, the game was firmly in their hands. Now, though, they've got to make sure they don't let this slip. Well, I believe a spot kick award in one of the other games. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Brentford. And he's only going to hit it straight into Rose Z. It remains 1-0 with 37 minutes played. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Son! 
Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. Romain Perrault. Diallo. Kamaldin Suleimana. Aribo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bentancur. Bukayo Saka. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Opportunity it is. And a decent save. Full credit. Really vital interception. Half time then here in the English capital. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, it certainly wasn't a bad performance. I think he was quite unlucky, really, not to have a goal to his name. He's just been a bit quiet besides that one chance, though. But I'm sure he'll stamp his authority on the game in the second half. So the ball rolling in the second half. Spurs with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. But a goal to update you on in the Wolves game. Alex Scott has the details. And it's a goal for Wolves. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 47 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Excellent defending. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Read it superbly to take back possession. Given away again. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it still could be dangerous. OK, just hearing the situation has changed in the Brentford game. To what extent, Alex Scott? It's a second goal for Chelsea. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. They're pulled ahead by two with 57 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. What can they do to stop him running at them? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Now what can they do from here? And teammates around him. Oh, surely! Keeper getting the touch. Well, I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Well, now they've got to concentrate on keeping the door locked. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Over it comes. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Another chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag.
delivering it well cleared away and giving the ball to the opposition that time well the counter chance looks very real and based on that challenge you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket he's protecting it effectively Martin Odegaard has eyes for goal and Spurs pushing to add to their lead it'll be a corner trying to pick out a teammate and first class defending cleared off the line Son on to Bentancourt and it's Gabriel Jesus and a body in the way well the situation has changed I'm hearing in the Wolves game Alex Scott can tell us more yeah it's a third goal for Liverpool after a well worked move he got himself on the end of a cross with a beautiful header they're back in this now with 72 minutes played thanks as always to Alex Scott Zinchenko and that puts them in position oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done well here it is again the ball over the top is an absolute beauty and it makes the striker's job so easy all he has to do is make the right connection it's a lovely goal The ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Arribo. And it's with Maitland Niles. Nicely timed tackle. Well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Arribo. Levi Garcia had a chance to whip it in here and a poor ball and easy for the keeper well it looks like there's been a goal at the Etihad over to Alex for the details yeah it's a third goal for Manchester City he shot far post the keeper parries it but the... oh jumping in they're in a great position here there it is victory more or less guaranteed now Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. They might be able to get in now. He's managed to get in behind. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Tottenham unable to hold on to the ball. Well, apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And they're on top currently 3-1. on can they hit on the break oh a clinical counter-attack and so close to a goal well that's exactly what they're looking to do force the turnover and then break at pace so close to a very good goal That's useful play. Son! Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And there's the delivery. 
not really the ideal clearance and there's the final whistle in a way this game had an academic quality about it everyone here including the players just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments the trophy will soon be theirs well it's been a long wait but it's worth it celebrating in front of their own fans they've been excellent this season they fully deserve to be the champions and that is a vivid picture of what we associate with this group of players it's all about the team ethic you can see what it means to this tight-knit team real solidarity well this is special for everybody at the club what a great moment for any young player and this is what you dream about when you start playing football when you're playing in the playground you want to win a cup brilliant moment it's a special moment in the career of any footballer and now for the trophy lift itself the cup winners well you can just see what it means to those players and the manager that's fantastic stuff there's always the element of chance in a cup competition but my goodness they've taken the rough with the smooth and now they savor the moment Well, for some of these players, it will be the pinnacle of their careers. They just have to take it all in now and realise what they've achieved here. It doesn't come much better than this, does it? And just look at those fans. They've followed their club everywhere. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And this is always part of the fun, Stuart, the photographs. Well, this photo will be hanging up in the study for years to come, won't it? Just make sure you're in that front row. That would be my advice. So there we have it, the league champions.